A very simple but direct question. Why is the Senate leadership, that is the Senate Republican leadership, betraying Republicans in the House and helping pass a pork-filled omnibus bill? Nobody better. Joining me now, Congresswoman Claudia Tenney from upstate New York. Claudia, thank you very much. Look, I don't understand this. This is, to me, and I've seen some good columns about this in the last 24 hours, this is a betrayal. You got new House majority, Republican majority, that conceivably stop spending, and here Mitch McConnell uh, and others want to just give it away for the whole year. What do you make of this, Claudia? You know, I don't understand it. Why are Republicans more ferocious when the Democrats took over uh, and basically took over the, when I was in my first term and, and we lost the House in 2018, they jammed in everything they could possibly get in knowing that they could do it. And why not take this golden opportunity, even though we have a slim majority, Kevin McCarthy has stood by, we are not going to pass this thing in our House, although we've had some people pass the basic framework. But this is so critically important that we stick together. This could be actually a strong message coming from the Senate and Mitch McConnell to say, look, we need Kevin McCarthy to be the speaker. We can't fool around with uh, this uh, five vote majority. We have, you know, look, whether you like Kevin or not, this is a pressure point that we need to stick together just like the Democrats do. And if we could do this, we could craft our own bill, cut, uh, cut the spending, cut taxes, more growth, get rid of all this green energy subsidies and the, and the Green New Deal type of stuff that's in this bill and every bill that we've passed, get rid of this $1.4 trillion tra deficit that we're seeing this year and actually have some growth, just like your guest just on uh, talked about. And everything you're talking about, we need growth. That's what's going to get us out of this inflationary mess. Well, Claudia, you know when you talk like this, you send a chill down my spine. You know that every time you do this to me. It's a wonderful thing. But, 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 what happens here if, you know, Mitch McConnell goes along with Chuck Schumer in an omnibus spending bill that will be jammed down the throats of the House and with the Democrats will pass the House and that will take away a golden opportunity to do exactly the kind of fiscal reforms that you're talking about. This is my fear, and that's why I consider it a potential betrayal. Mitch shouldn't be talking like this. It's very simple. And his appropriators shouldn't be talking. They should be defending the new House GOP, not jamming something down that'll prevent you from doing a great job and ch changing the economy, number one, and number two, improving Republican politics. You know, it's the exact opposite now. We are looking at a Republican majority that's going to save America, whereas right now we are relying on the Senate to save us from this majority and Nancy Pelosi's abuse of power. And thankfully, she's leaving. That's what we're looking at. I don't understand why Mitch McConnell isn't embracing this absolutely amazing moment. Even though it's a slim majority, there are Americans, small business owners in my district. I'm a small business owner in upstate New York where we have a hostile government in Albany that's against small businesses, that's against growth, that's against lower taxes, that's against energy. You are the people that could save us in the Senate. The Senate majority, Marsha Blackburn, what a gem. She's absolutely right. We have got to get Mitch to understand that they're the only people left that can save us now. And it's going to be up to the House majority next year to save America and save our small business community, which, by the way, drives most of the jobs supports our economy, and is critical to our future. I mean, uh, I thought Rand Paul put it well. Look, he talked about how Republicans have given up the power of the purse and essentially have emasculated their position. That's harsh and it's blunt, but right now it's true. And I don't understand that either. I don't disagree with you, and I agree, I, I agree with Rand Paul. But right now, the power of a purse should all be originating in the House, as right. the Constitution states. And we're now relying on the Senate. But why not? If, and I would say to Mitch McConnell and the senators who are the appropriators who are forcing this dangerous bill, by the way, filled with pork is going to cause even more inflation, more harm to American communities around the country. You know, the elites in Washington don't see this. But when you're in the, in the, in the, in the heartland where I am, the upstate New York area, where we're really struggling, I mean, our energy costs are really high. We had everything shut down today because of a snow day. Mm. These types of days are going to go from being something we can manage to being a real crisis and really dangerous for our communities. I agree with Rand Paul. This is the moment when they should stop this bill. I just hope that you keep talking and everyone keeps talking and Marsha Blackburn and other like-minded people out in the Senate 
can stop this. It's really critical. And, and, and think of the American people who are suffering right now. Farmers, my new district is going to be the largest ag district in the Northeast. We're dependent on affordable, reliable energy, fossil fuels, yeah. all the things that we need to not only be prosperous, but to feed our communities, to feed our nation, and to feed the world and maintain food security. Claudia, another problem is in, in um, specific terms, no, and no one knows the level of this omnibus bill. I mean, I, I talk around, I, I know mm -hmm. a lot of senators, I know a lot of senior Senate staff, some of whom worked for me in the White House a few years ago. No one knows what the level is, because this is one of these, you know, smoke-filled rooms, dark rooms, just a few people making decisions. But, 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 the consensus is, Above the baseline, and I'm not even sure what the baseline is, but we'll call it the fiscal 23 baseline, they're going to add 150 to $200 billion of spending. That's a lot of money. And that would be built into the new baseline. And all this stuff is vastly higher than what we had in 2019 and 2020. You see, the pattern here is unbelievable. And that by itself should provide reason for the Senate Republican leadership to oppose this. Yeah, I don't understand. I, I agree with you. And it's this big fear of the government shutdown, which would be a temporary thing. We've been through this before. We had a Schumer shutdown uh, when I was in, in my first term. We had other shutdowns. And it's important that we actually look at why this spending is happening and why the Senate is not doing this. I worry that it's a lot of people leaving the leaving office for good, leave, looking for a legacy, potentially getting a job somewhere, yeah. you know, in this vast world here of, of Washington where they can make a lot of money please their, uh, the, the special interests out there so that they can land that great job. But right now, the American people are suffering, and we need the Senate to lead. Uh, Kevin McCarthy has promised in the commitment to America, which I call my commitment to the new New York 24, mm -hmm. we have got to get our economy back. It is so critically important. Energy, less spending, less regulations, empowering our small business community. That's what's driving our economy. You did a wonderful job. Uh, when you were leading President Trump's team economically. It was the greatest thing. That Tax Cuts and Jobs Act is still working great for our state community. We can even do more and even do better if we stick together next year. All right. Claudia Tenney, thank you. Great stuff. Great stuff. By the way, New York Republicans, I think, gave you the margin in the House. How about that? For breaking news. <laughs> New York Republicans, think of it. Anyway, Claudia Tenney, thank you ever so much. Thank you. Now,